the divided island of Cyprus and the so-called Green Line, cutting right down the middle of the capital, Nicosia. On one side, the Turkish-speaking north. On the south side, the Greek-speaking Republic of Cyprus, which doesn't recognize its northern neighbor's independence. Nor does the EU. That position has now been made more complicated thanks to Cyprus's six-month rotation as president of the Council of Europe. Officially, Brussels says the entire island is included in the EU, but it refers to the area north of the divide as, quote, non-governed territory. EU regulations and obligations effectively don't apply here. That's angered many Turkish-speaking Cypriots who say that Europe is excluding them, and some say it's racist. Hussein Özgürgüm is the foreign minister of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, but his government is officially recognized by only one country, Turkey. We don't trust the EU because they didn't keep their promises regarding isolation and embargoes. Direct flights, direct trade, everything. But they didn't keep their promises. They never uh, made uh, only one positive step. Some people, like restaurant owner Erdogan Hussein, say they want to see Europe do more for their Turkish-speaking side of the island. Not uh, helping us a lot, you know, like they do helping to the Greek side. They are organized everything, the other side and this side, they are not doing much. Not so, says the EU, noting that it has invested millions of euros into restoring the very market in which Hussein shops. Indeed, EU-funded projects appear all over the divided city. Behind me is the terminal of the old Nicosia International Airport. It's been closed for decades. In fact, most of this area is just as it was 40 years ago when Turkish forces arrived here, effectively splitting the island. This is part of a larger area called the UNPA, a protected area that serves as the headquarters for peacekeeping forces here and also as neutral meeting ground for both sides. Past talks like this one have produced some results, but failed to resolve what Europe and the international community have dubbed the Cyprus problem. Some hope Cyprus's EU presidency can change that. I hope EU leadership, now the Greek side, Cypriot, and they do uh, find some solution between Turkish and the Greek and to make it one country altogether. But both sides remain unchanged in their positions, and Ankara, the North's sole backer, has suspended talks with the Council of Europe, while Greek-dominated Cypriots sit at the head. That means the status quo here, for now, is unlikely to change, and the UN troops who patrol this buffer zone, dividing the two sides, are unlikely to go anywhere anytime soon. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Nicosia.